Three. Three. Hi, everybody. My name's Matt. I'm the manager of Sally Oak Court in Birmingham. This is Sally Oak Court, which is a nice sunny day. So I'm going to talk you around the building, show you the communal areas, show you the area outside of the site, and then a couple of our show flats, and then we'll take any questions you've got so you can get anything up a chest or anything you want to know. All right. Um, so this is the main entry. The building is very secure. Every every tenant has a fob and a key. There's fob access to get in. Come on in. Um, straight into the entrance is the post box. So every single flat has their own post box and every single room. So you can check your post is all very secure in here when it gets delivered to us. If you're getting delivered parcels, boxes, they all come to us in reception, which is just here. So this is where I sit. And um, my colleague Kirsty Henry's holding the phone. She's probably too scared to turn it <laughs> um, So we are based in the office. Now the, the, the desk is open eight until five every single day. Um, outside of that time, there is out of our security who are here 24 seven. So if you ever need anything, you just pick up the phone and they'll be in the back. So there's always someone around if you have any problems. This is the site mascot. It's a duck, because of Charles Duckins. Very cute. So these are the communal areas for the site. These are open 24 seven. And so you're welcome to come down and use them. They're all free and included in the rent. So you have all the space and um, And around the back, a little sofa area with some games. Uh, we run lots of events as well, so over the course of the terms, we'll have gatherings down here and get you to meet people if you don't know anyone from, um, from your course. So we're trying to build a bit of a community in the building. So again, it's all open 24-7 and um, looked after by the site. Here, we also have the on-site gym. Uh, this is free for all, all residents to use as well, and is open the whole time. So this is free to use. And we never really have much of a queue in here, so it's about three or four people at once. Right. So we have 329 beds here at Salio Court. Um, they're all spread across six blocks, which are all accessible from this courtyard. Um, we've also got a little area, which is the building over here in the pavilion. Up there is the assembly room, um, which we'll quickly show you. But there's some people working in there, so I won't talk when we're in that room, so they can show you around when we go in. If you've got any exams, we'd like to work somewhere a bit quieter than your flat. Or can't be able to walk all the way to Two main types of rooms in this area of court. It's a cluster where you share a kitchen and a studio where you have your own. So I'm going to show you them both for the ones we've got available. six bed cluster kitchen um, and then we're going to go upstairs and show you one of the rooms that we've got upstairs as well. This flat is occupied um, so if there's any mess that's uh, up to the tenants to have a look at but we'll show you anyway. Alright so this is a typical six bed cluster flat. Um, we get your coat with two fridges, your cupboard space, living area, um, and then the kitchen. So this one is occupied by six people, so I can't see what's, what's around, this is all the right thing. We won't spend too much time in here because this is their flat. Um, so all the kitchens for all the clusters are the same, they just vary slightly in size. So we have two bed clusters all the way up to six. And the only difference is floor space and the amount of fridges. Anything over 
three beds, you get two fridges, so you've got plenty of space for all your food and in your freezing parts as well. Um, four ring hob and an oven for everyone as well. Um, and then there's a cupboard per room, and then you just work with your flatmates to cook and share. So they're quite popular, our clusters, they tend to sell out first, um, as people tend to like sharing and living with other people and living with their friends. When we assign people rooms, we try to put you with people who we think that you'll get along with, um, whether it be from the same course, same nationality. We also take have single sex flats. If you want to be with just girls or just guys, we can try and accommodate that as well. So you just put in your booking notes if that's something you'd like, and we'll try and place you as best we can. Okay. So we'll pop upstairs now and have a look at one of the rooms. So we're just going up to the first floor. Um, every block has a lift. So the lifts are just here, but we're going to get one set of stairs. And we'll just cut the signal, so we'll just grab one. Uh, the blocks are one to three, three floors. So they're not too big. Um, there's every problem. So there's six lifts across the site, so you never have to worry about using the stairs if you've got shopping or you're moving in. Okay, so we'll start by showing you one of the cluster bedrooms. So the same type of room that you just saw that will be attached to the kitchen you saw downstairs. So the cluster rooms are the same across all of the cluster flats. Um, this one again is occupied apart from the room we're showing you. So this is one of the cluster rooms then. So you can see every flat comes with a desk, a wardrobe, a storage space, a bed. There's under bed storage as well, um, as well as the front. There's plenty of storage for your belongings. Um, every single room here at Cellular Court is ensuite. So there is a cluster that has the same bathroom, quite a large shower um, and plenty of space. They're quite well decorated and well done out as well. So this again, this is one of the rooms that comes between a two bed and up to a six bed. So any of our cluster flats, this is the same type of room. So once we move out of here, we're going to show you one of the studios. Now the only one we've got to show you is one of the larger ones. Um, and I'll, so I'll measure up for you to show you how big one of the smaller ones are. Right there. Luckily, get a sunny, sunny day in the UK today. <laughs> Marvel. Got quite a nice view here of the canal as well. So we, we happen to be right on the waterway, and that waterway takes you straight to the university. So this is one of our deluxe studios. So the studios come with their own kitchen. So this one is the deluxe one, so it's much larger than um, some of the other rooms. Now we have about five different types of studios. Um, that five, this one's the super premium deluxe, so it's the biggest one. And um, they always come with a double bed, your own kitchen, and much more floor space. And as you can see, there's there's plenty here. Um, it's our biggest room type, they're quite popular as well. Um, so if you're looking for that extra bit of comfort, we do offer that here. There's not too many of them, so they do sell out fairly quickly. Um, the kitchen area is the same in all the studios. Okay, so they're about the same size. And you have an oven, there's a microwave and oven, the fridge freezer in here as well, and then cupboard space for all your food and food, and a breakfast bar where you can eat. Now the studios, the difference in the other studios, as I said, we can't show you all six, is essentially floor space. So you see where I'm standing now? The standard studio will start about here and have the same. And then as they get bigger, you just get more room. So it just depends what you're after. If space is important to you, you can have an extra bigger room for just slightly more, slightly more cost. Um, they start at 170 for a studio room. When that's in for 51 week on the ground floor. And this one goes up to 225, which is the room we're in now. Okay, so they vary about £10 per week for 
for an extra, an extra uh, bit of space. Again, as I said in the other room, the bathrooms are the same across the entire building. So exactly the same again, shower, a sink and a toilet. So this is the bathroom you can expect in all our rooms. Some of the studios have a slightly different layout. So the bed will be the other way around. Um, we can accommodate requests for all rooms, um, especially in our studios this early in the year as we haven't had too many bookings for them just yet. But as they start to fill up, um, we can take less and less requests. So if you're particularly interested in certain facing or the bed being a certain way around, just let us know earlier and we can put you in the best room for you. Okay. So we'll just head back outside now to show you where the bin area is and the gardens. in the sun, it's actually like feeling pretty warm today, which is great. So in the summer we'll hold barbecues and events outside, you can get as many tenants down as you can to get a bit of a community feel down here. Um, I say we are about a 20 minute walk from the university and the majority of tenants will take the canals over up there. We keep this gate locked just for security reasons but there's another entrance just outside the building so you can get on it. So this canal goes straight to the university and head down that way, about a 15, 20 minute walk, and that'll get you to the university train station. So we're reasonably close and far enough away that it feels a bit more like a home, it's a bit more comfortable. If you like ducks and geese and animals, there's a little bit on the side here. <laughs> common room as well so if you have any empty bags pop them into the bins and then they get emptied twice a week by our bin contractors so try to get the place as tidy as possible and a nice place to live for everybody not too much to talk about in there but all our bins just in there and if you do have a car that we sell throughout the year so if you are interested in taking a car parking space you want to get in touch with us as soon as they can. Okay so that's about it for the tour um, so we'll be taking any questions just as we head back inside so if anyone wants to have anything they'd like to ask or anything they'd like to see again or any other questions pop them in the chat now and I'll ask them Shall I type it in the chat? So, any questions? Just let us know. Maybe not. No. All right then, everybody. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the talk. So if you have any more questions you can think of once we finish, if you just pop your emails to you, Holmes, and I'll get in touch with us and we can answer you. And if not, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you do make a booking, great. Um, so I've been Matt, I'm the manager. You'll be dealing with me through the whole year. And Kirsty Ann has been the camera lady today. <laughs> Hi. Just hiding behind the phone. Um, and if you do book, we'll see you in September. And otherwise, good luck and have a great day.